Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the synthesis and how we are going to synthesize any given mechanism by antically as well as by graphical. But in this case, we will now see by antical method. So synthesis is nothing but it is the design or creation of the mechanism so as to produce the required output for the given input motion. Means for example, it may be a gear drive or it may be a chain drive or a cam and follower system can be synthesized for getting the known output by giving known input. It is also used to find the desired output from the given input. So first method is precision position. So what do you mean by precision position? So while designing a mechanism, so as to basically generate a particular function, it is not possible to produce it exactly by mathematical expression. But now if you consider a four bar chain mechanism, so here the crank will be given input motion and the rocker will be having output motion. Now suppose your crank is having function X, then the output link will also rotate with respect to input function. So the value should be Y is equal to F of X. Means the value of X, means the value of Y will be in proportion with the value of X. But practically it is not possible that you will get the same values as that of input values. So here in the graph, if you see, there are two functions. One is the generated function, that is actual function generated by the mechanism and the dotted line function that is called the desired function. So here, where the points that is such as P1, P2, P3 up to Pn minus one. So these points at these points, whatever the function is, whatever the given input will be always equal to output. So this frequency is less as compared to the initial part. So this is the basic difference that how we are getting, how we are differentiating practical and uh, theoretical values. So here, these points are nothing but the precision points and for these precision points, whatever the position of that links for that respect to mechanism will give you directly the precision positions. So this is the basic difference between precision positions and precision points. Means first of all, we will get the precision points and then from that precision points, we will be getting the precision positions. Now next is structural and mechanical error. So what is error? Error is nothing but the difference between the actual value and the predicted value. So in actual case, the value will be less or more as per, as per, as per the standard value. So structural error is defined as the difference between the required motion and the actual motion generated by the any given mechanism. While the mechanical error, they may be introduced due to some change in length or due to some clearances or due to some any other parameters related to change for the mechanism. So such type of errors are called as mechanical errors. And now this structural and mechanical error, they can be find out by antical method. That method is called as Chebyshev spacing method. So now this method, Chebyshu spacing method was developed by the scientist Chebyshu. So this method is known as So this method is known as Chebyshu spacing method. So in designing a mechanism, so as to produce a particular function, it is basically impossible to, so as to get the accurate function, but the points at which the generated function and the desired function, they agree, they are known as the precision points or the accuracy, accuracy points that were seen in the first slide. And they must be located so as to minimize the error generated between these points. Now the best spacing of these precision points for the first trial is given by the Chebyshu method, spacing method. And that formula is here, if you see, this is the basic formula for finding the precision points, where the x, uh, the range will be given for that precision points. Here it is given that uh, xs is the starting point and xf is the finishing point. And the difference between the finishing and the starting will give you the range of the precision points, the values which are going to vary for that particular range. And here, if you find the theta, suppose here if in the next slide, if you see, there will be values of theta here. So it can be find out by both, by antical method as well as by graphical method. So for finding the values means of these precision points for by graphical method, here, first of all, you have to draw one circle whose diameter will be equal to delta x. Means delta x is the nothing but the difference between the, or range of that precision points. Then afterwards, you have to just divide this circle into six equal parts in such a way that it will form a hexagon whose sides will be intersecting this 
squad means whose squads will be intersecting the center line and when these lines they are intersecting you will directly get the values of starting then first point second point and third and finally the finishing point so starting point and finishing point range means this values whatever we are getting by graphical values this value should always lie in between the starting and finishing value and by identical method also we will be getting that same means the graphical value as well as identical value both of these values should be matched then and then only we can say that whatever the precision points for the precision points whatever the precision positions we are getting for the given mechanism is satisfied thank you